Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Now, only a couple of things have happened since last episode. Uh, let's see. For the most part, I, uh, just did some minor exploration of, uh, the new JK's, uh, Whiterun. And all that really happened was, uh, Dandry lounged about the inn after chopping enough firewood to pay for a son. How about room. something but a bitter cake? You know, hold up. There's this lovely Argonian ballad I've been studying. Argonian you ballad? You to scare off my customers, son? Lively. That sounds Lively. interesting. All right, all right. Um, how about the gutter snipe? Well, that's not bad. But I was thinking Mogo's mead really gets the place moving. Okay. Well then, consider it done. Okay. You know, it's a shame those songs aren't actually in the game. But, uh, what was I saying? Alright, Dandry here, just, uh, yeah, yesterday, all he really did was chopped enough firewood to, uh, pay for a room for a uh, room and board for the night, basically. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> and lounged about the room, debate uh, around the inn, debating. Yeah. And he still hasn't changed uh, his mind quite yet. He's uh, still going to head off to Windhelm to meet with uh, the old family friend. But, you know, uh, Bleak Falls Barrow sounds like a uh, dangerous place to him. Even though it, his curiosity is slightly driving him nuts, wanting to know what's there. But, uh, yeah. Not enough to risk his life yet. Yeah, anyways. So he's still gonna... He wants to at least touch bases with uh, this old family friend his father wanted him to make contact with. So, yeah. But first, he's going to come downstairs, grab breakfast, and uh, chat. have a chat with a few of the uh, his fellow uh, inn patrons. From squire to squire. Huh. Mine is a pitiful existence indeed. Okay. If it's work you need, uh, another curious mind, is it? Come to Argus to find the answers to all life's riddles. Who okay. <laughs> Why would I seek you those answers from you? Good question. Generally, or this is also an end, they general so Yeah. So quick question, why would I seek such answers from you? Because I've lived a long life. Okay. And with age comes wisdom. Or so they say. Okay. So, what is it you die with a want sword to know? In your hands. The answer to life's most difficult questions. Yes, or perhaps kinda. It's most fundamental ones. They say I knew them all. Well, the truth is, no one does. No one knows what the next life holds. No one knows how to make love stay. Okay. Uh... I apologize, Hulda. I seem to have driven away one of your customers. Well, um, I'll uh, gladly. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? No. They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Okay. Why is that remarkable? Curved blades have nice advantages to them. Very ni uh, generally very nice for hacking and slashing type weapons. <sighs> What do you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Well, I'm kind of just... Yeah. Yes, as you can see, I have a nice hundred gold to spend, so... Ooh. Let's buy an apple and so a nice cup of uh, tea for breakfast. Thank you. So... Okay, I think I'm g Dandry's going to be asking this question a lot, but uh, do you know where I could learn magic from? 
the, uh, Jarl, or no, the court wizard up in Dragon's Reach is more intent on sending me on wild goose chases than teaching me anything. Magic is for the weak. Elves, oh. I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Okay. Well, thanks for the info on, uh, what Need you think of else? magic. Just let me know. Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd prefer to, uh, yeah, I think magic's generally for the clever, not the weak. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. A nice, uh, let's see, where'd that apple go? Green apple? Yeah, so that's all. Just a mild, uh, apple for breakfast. <sighs> Quite the relaxing in, eh? Alright, hey, anybody interesting to talk to? Right, you didn't want to... You... Yeah. Who are you? Come, come, I haven't got all day. Okay, you don't want to talk. So, who are you, miss? Have you by any chance seen a huge drowned Nord and a filthy little wood elf bastard? I might have seen a couple of large drunk nords over there but not a uh, not a uh, uh boz a drunken bosmer with them blasted where are those rotten thieves oh look these guys have stolen something that is very precious to me okay. and i need to find them before they drink drink well before they do anything they will regret okay um can i help yes Yes, you could. The people here just told me that they have seen the bastards heading out to White Run with my bar. Mm, my precious item. I need to catch them. But uh, I have been warned that one of them, the Nord, is very huge and potentially dangerous. Okay. I will approach them on my own if necessary, but it would be so much safer if there were two of us. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I suppose I could come along with you. Um, outside of White Run, I was planning on leaving any leaving town anyway. So, let's get going. You then. Do that. Thank you so much. Strawberries. Mmm, I love strawberries. Ooh, strawberries! I absolutely love strawberries. Seems a bit overcast this morning. Well, okay, so, two thieves, a Nord and a Bosmer, have robbed you of a bottle that you're trying to keep hidden, which seems a little strange to me. But, yeah, if they didn't go, yeah, well, let's see, they stolen something, they're drunk. Uh, let's check the, uh, this place here, the drunken husband, drunken huntsman, not husband, uh, slight slip of the tongue there, yeah, 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 fancy rolls, you a wizard or something? An aspiring one, yes, uh, don't see any Bosmer in here besides him, yes. What can I get you? Does the barkeep just teleport? How much of our money have you spent today? Okay. Anything left? I or want all the gold. gold. Hopefully they won't be that hard to find. Yeah, let's see. There are only a couple of places a couple of thieves could go around here to spend uh, ill-gotten goods on more mead, I'd assume. Or more drinks. I'm just assuming. I... Yeah, other place I could assume they went. I'm truly would... so grateful for your help. Hope you know that. It's not that I don't think this is gonna be too hard, miss. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, elk cries. Ah, I just wish I could remember what they're what those are supposed to mean. Oh well. Ah. <laughs> Some uh, tree pop in there. Yeah, other place I could assume those thieves went would be the meadery to buy more feed. Just assuming. Yoink. Okay. I'm so glad I'm not alone in this. Thank you so much for You appear to be an ord. Who are you? Hmm. Okay. Never mind. We better try and find those thieves quickly. For their own sake. You keep saying that. Uh, what? Random rat. Okay. Hmm. Um. Well, he appears that the college has been swooping around Sarfo. Mages in a burial crypt. No good. Uh, okay. Why do you guys always as Nords always assume mages and burial crypts mean necromancers? Look, over there. It must be the Oh, uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention, miss. Did you hear that? The bottle talked to me. Okay. It cursed me. I told you. Either there's something very strange going on with that bottle, or these two are really, really drunk. So, uh, M? Take the bottle. Just take it. That dumb thing is cursed. It actually talked to me. Cursed me. Okay. Uh, just hand it over. You sound like you're a little too drunk to be making too many decisions. Yes. Yes. Look, I, I know it's wrong to steal. You but think? me and my body were so thirsty. And the little lady there had left her luggage almost unattended. Aha. Uh -huh. We meant no harm. But when we opened the bottle, it started to talk. It cursed us. I've uh -huh. never had anything so evil before in my entire life. Sounds like you guys are the, uh... I'm cursed for the rest of my life. Probably got a, uh... Please. Practical joke thrown on Please you? Please ask the little lady to have her bottle removing that curse from us. Hmm. I just hand it over and I'll have a chat with her. You will? Oh, what a relief. Thank you. Thank you. And here is the bottle, of course. I swear I won't ever steal again. Of course you won't. Good boy. And thank you so much. All right. Man. Let's give that waterfall a little bit of a wide berth and I'll hand this back to you. You have the bottle. Yeah. Wonderful. Give Here it you me, are, ma'am. Easy enough. And now I guess I owe you an explanation. Oh, uh, well. But, um, yes. First, there's something I need to ask. Okay. Tell me, have we met before? You seem so uh, familiar. No, I don't. I think we've ever met before. Oh, I'm sorry. You just reminded me of someone. I haven't I knew spent much of time ago. around Nord, well, so. I guess I should tell you about my mysterious mission now. If you wouldn't I mind, I, I, it, you got me whole curious. This bottle seems awfully strange, and uh, you know it does seem awfully strange that you're trying to hide it. Poorly, I might add, but it does seem strange. I guess you have already figured out that the bottle is kind of special. Yeah. It's in fact very, very old. I inherited it from my grandmother, who inherited it from An old grandmother. family heirloom, then. Before my grandmother died, she gave me the bottle, together with a mysterious note written by her grandmother. Okay. It wasn't easy to understand the note, but this much I know. 
The bottle contains components related to old Morrowind witchcraft. Okay, I, I can see why you might want to hide that from the not so understanding Nords of uh, Skyrim. Ancestors have been into dark magic. However, okay, something magic is trapped within the bottle, and it requires a certain kind of knowledge to release what's trapped in there. My great-great-grandmother once told my grandmother that the only place where the content could be released would be here, in Skyrim. Okay. Or, to be more specific, inside the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Elder Gleam Sanctuary, that sounds Therefore, actually Therefore, I decided to bring the bottle to Skyrim and to visit the Sanctuary. However, I have now been here for quite some time. But although I've been traveling all over the countryside, I have never been able to find the sanctuary. Okay. You don't happen to know where it's located, do you? Um... No, not really. Um... Hmm. You know, I don't know where Elder Gleam Sanctuary is, but I got it. I think I'm gonna be here in Skyrim for a little while, and I have some ways to travel. Maybe we could poke around a little bit and see if we could find it for you, you know. And one, I could use a bit of a guide here in Skyrim. And two, you look somewhat capable and more capable in a fight than me, so. And this place seems to be very, this uh, province seems to be horribly, horribly dangerous. You think so? Oh, that would be tremendous. Please let me tag along with you. Skyrim is a dangerous place. And it's so much safer to be too... Kinda what I was thinking. So. Yeah. Let's uh, see if we could find this Elder Gleam Sanctuary mm -hmm. together. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, I do find it a bit overwhelming to travel those dangerous Skyrim roads on my own. Yeah, I've had some trouble I'm so with happy it. For company. And who knows? Maybe I can offer something in return? I may not be a very good alchemist, but I can still make some simple potions. Mm, and me when too. searching for the gleam, I've seen quite a few places. So you could be a bit of a guide for me. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta tweak some settings on Companion Field. Yeah, I'll be right okay, back. I'm back. Tweaked a few settings with At the Solstice and Mead houses, we often dance at the tables up for a few bottles of mead. But I don't think it's common practice here, is it? Well, I don't think so, but I've only been here for a couple of days and seen one tavern. Actually, two, but yeah. And I've not seen anybody dancing on any tables, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Tweaked some settings on Vilja here. Uh, tweaked her whether or not she's essential. I set up uh, her uh, wardrobe system a little bit. And I uh, lengthened her uh, chatter pace. There should be a good two to three minutes in between chatter. Okay. Well, I'm trying to find it hard to get better at spell casting, and I'm having a hard time with it, so. Just keep trying. Keep trying. It'll come eventually, I suppose. Still loud. Yeah, in my end, that waterfall is uh, very painful on my ear. Okay. Okay, who are you? Good morning. Yes? Oh, you're a traveling merchant. Take a look. Got anything good? But a few things. Uh... Wait a minute. Right, I keep forgetting. I haven't right. done anything that would involve selling stuff. Okay. Who are you? A dead orc. Oh, Need no. Something? Yeah. What happened? A note. 
I'm close to finding the Iron Mace of Chills. I've tracked it down to Moldering Ruins. It's apparently guarded by a master vampire. Let me get this straight. You're going after an Iron Mace with a Frost Enchantment. And you're trying to get it back past a master vampire. Okay, no wonder you're dead. Yeah. Oh! I've tried so hard to get into spell casting. I just don't seem to have that in Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Yeah, it just occurred to me. There's a note I got uh, last episode that probably is several of you have been screaming at me to read. So, uh, thought I'd do so. Attention adventurers, it has come to the attention of Jarl of the Jarl that many travelers are using Brittleshin Pass to move from Falkreath to Whiterun. The area is notorious haven for necromancers, and it is advisable to, for you to stick to the main road when traveling. Ah! Ah! Don't use this passageway, it's likely to get you killed. Got it. Fair enough. A warning to travelers. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. Windhelm's still this way? Windhelm's still this way. Ah. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little overcast, but it's fairly nice. Nice day. And aside from a few interruptions. I got a traveling companion, and uh, it's uh, been relatively peaceful. <clears throat> I was expecting something like a wolf to jump out of a bush and kill me. For just saying that. I just thought I'd save. Just in case I got a crash or something. Don't mind us, wolves. Just heading by. Don't mind us. Still going the right way. Haven't managed to get lost just yet. Now, who are you? This here's a toll road, see? Okay. Hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. I don't have 200 gold. Uh, how does 50 sound? Eh, fine. I can tell you aren't worth the trouble. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Okay. Yeah. Not quite a bit of, uh... Yeah, quite the... Uh, Bandits uh, having a toll on the road. Uh, not, I don't like it, but uh, I don't think I could take those bandits on single. Well, might be able to handle them, but don't want to risk it. Ah. Now entering East March, now leaving White Run Hole. That is the uh, symbol of the Stormcloaks, if I'm not mistaken. So we have now entered Stormcloak territory, or now will. Yeah, yeah in case you're wondering what that uh, sort of uh, whole... Yeah, th this, uh, what this is about, this is from the uh, hold border signs, which uh, place banners and flags along the roads, telling you if you're entering or exiting a hold. Which is a nice touch. At least they are alive. Well, when we first meet them, that is. You've dealt with undead and vampires before. Okay. Hmm. 
So I take it you're quite a bit more experienced in the whole adventuring department than I am. Hmm. What's that over there? I hear a wolf. Spell was fairly effective. He still bit me. Yeah, I was curious. What's this up here? It looks like some sort of cave. Yee, that's kind of cold. And that's a corpse over there. Oh, my curiosity wants to know, but my better judgment says, no, let's go. Let's keep going. My map only now. Uh, there's no signage saying which path to take to uh, Windhelm. I'd assume you might want to follow the main road here. But what's up here? Ugh. Boy, that water's cold. Candle Crush Rock discovered. Oh! Uh, looks like it's a giant's camp. Whoop. Okay. Oh my. Now, Dandry here has heard of giants, but he's, this is the first time he's actually seen one of them. These, of course, are natives to Skyrim. Quite interesting. Don't mind us, just sneak and pass. Hmm. It's a big, big axe. Yeah. Okay. Wolves. Let's avoid them if we can. Don't need to kill... Prefer not to have to kill any wolves if I don't have to. Another shrine of Talos. I seem to have gotten myself a wee bit lost here. Fighting, follow me. Just run, 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 run. You coming? Come on, let's get out of here. I do not think we could stand much a chance against those things. Whatever they were, they just look. They're no uh, wild boar, uh, boars. Um, let's get out of this forest. Uh, I think we can go down back. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, a road. That's an improvement. Now, where am I? Hello? Oh, there you are. 
fighting is over for now? Do you want me to continue to stay out of combat? Uh, just, uh, if somebody attacks us, return the favor. But, uh... This might be fun. Eh... Uh, Nords do like their fighting, don't they? Um... Uh, let's see... There seems to be a cabin over here, or some sort of town, maybe? Let's see if we can get an idea of directions from here. Mix water mill, eh? Excuse me. I used to have five good men who worked the mill with me. Then this war started and they all ran off. Idiots. Okay. You seem kind of grumpy. Um, huh. It's water mill. Let's try getting to a bit more higher ground. Let's see if we can get a nice semblance of directions if we do that. Uh, coming, this? Coming, miss? Okay. I do believe, uh, so, uh unfortunately, Miss Vilja is having some pathing issues. But, yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, warps to me when I'm not looking. Which has that slightly creepy effect, but yeah, let's see about some higher ground here. See if we can get an idea where we are. Let's see, road going that way. Let's see. Ah, fort over there, some tower up there. Okay, that's that giant mountain in the center of my map. Is that? I think that might be the city of Windhelm over there in the distance. If I think the sky and walkers are pathetic. Orcus? You should see the ones we have in Solstein. They are really scary. What's a horker? Not gonna explain. Okay. And there are different variants on Solstein, you say? You did you actually mention you were from Solstein? Okay, I don't think she actually has, so Dandry's not putting that together, I don't think. Alright. Oh, still haven't fixed that. Okay. Yeah. So Dandry's now got his uh, location sensed up a little. Huh. Another giant's camp. Alright. Huh. Still not sh yeah. Hmm. Is that wind helm? Yeah, a little difficult to tell from here, but let's see if uh, we can get a little bit closer. It'd probably be a wise idea to take the road, but... Skeever hide, skeever meat, skeever tail. I think I'll just lop off its tail as an alchemical ingredient. But, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Let's see. 
Windhelm. Is that Windhelm or not? Yeah, I know it's Windhelm. Dandry's not sure. He's only heard of it in a brief description from his father, so... It might be. Let's see. See if we can go back and find the road. Try doing this like a bit more of a sensible person. Hmm. A lot of elk calls. Yeah. Hi there, little bunny rabbit. Steam geysers, though. Huh. Huh. Ah! A cave, eh? Ha! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Is this your Elder Gleam Sanctuary? Yeah, out of character here. Yes, I did kind of... Okay, yeah. I'm back. Uh, I... That was... Yeah, just uh, had a phone to deal with. So, yeah, I'm back. Yes, out of character. I did just sort of uh, intentionally have Dandry get lost in such a way that I could accidentally stumble across Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Yeah. Filch's quests and dialogue do get a little um, glitched out if... Uh, you don't uh, find Elder Gleam uh, right away, or so I've noticed with uh, previous playthroughs I like with her. Swimming, but those slaughter fishes really scary. Yeah, me. they really are terrifying, especially since in Skyrim you can't actually defend yourself against those things. Oblivion and Morrowind, you could uh, you know fight those things while underwater, but uh, yeah. oh. By the divines, that waterfall is loud. And it's dark in here. I don't have anything like a, uh... A, uh... Light spell, but I do have a torch, so... Is this the place? I hope that's not too loud on your guys' end, but th for me, that's deafening. In fact, I'm gonna have to turn my, uh, sound down a little. right now. Put it out. It's a little dark in here, but it's I can see easily enough. Wow. That is beautiful. Not sure how exactly I'm hearing him say this. I think Gantry uh, might be adept in somewhat adept in the reading for some reason. Maybe his uh, mentor taught him how to lip-read just as a, uh, to do some uh, errands for him or something like that. So. Hello, who are you? Uh, no, I'm not from the College of Winterhold. I just got a... I guess I got a pair of the ropes. Uh, quick question. What is you this place? You are in the Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of a view the inner of Wonderful place, isn't it? Yeah, quite. And that giant, uh, tree over there with the pink leaves, is that this Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Okay. Why not, then? As you can see, 
Eldritch's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her track. Okay. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldritch herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. Okay. Um. Yeah, why would I ask? Why would Dantry here ask for such a weapon? I don't think he's actually gonna care, so. Uh, okay, um, who are you? You seem to be hurting me. Welcome to Elder Glean Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, please speak to us. Yeah, I already did. Okay. So, uh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, uh perhaps here. Yes? Uh, what? Uh, my friend here needs help with a sort of mysterious bottle. Uh, could you oh, help us? Oh, I see. Maybe I should then speak to your friend. That would probably be a wiser Goodbye. idea. You first to talk to me. time. The sky's cleared up, uh, cleared up some. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Mixwater Mill is back that way. Somewhere. At least I'm getting some alchem alchemical ingredients from this trip. Be able to make a few potions. Uh, ah, river. Uh, yeah, follow this down to Vicks Water Mill. Seems like a reasonable assumption. Yeah. Watch where you're going, Dandry. Don't want to fall off a cliff, do you? Better. Easy there. Alright, let's just drop a quick save just in case the game decides to crash. Ah. Okay, there it is. And we go. 
Alright, how do I get here without getting wet? <sighs> yeah, never mind. Already wet. Thank you, uh, Frostfall Tutorial. I actually know what it means when I'm wet in this game. You guys look pilgrimish. Uh, who are you guys? The suffering the Daedra cause will... You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Oh, Abort with you any guys. Daedra, and we will hunt you down. So, you guys are vigilants of Stendar, then? Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. Okay. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper I didn't Carson ask who the Vigilant of Stendar asked, or I asked you as uh, if you're a... Uh, eh, never mind. Okay. The Vigilant will be watching you. Yeah, alright. Mm. Are you the lady I talked to earlier? Yes. Uh, oh. I guess not. I have a note from your friend, then. Good, good. I've been waiting to hear from her. I dearly hope her work is proceeding well. Now that she has found all the plans she needed. Okay. Oh, I found a copy of Hundred Ways to Use a Falmer Ear for her. That's a Falmer. Hex Cure in Maka. Maybe it could be a map. To her. Goodbye. Okay. Fine. I was planning on going and hopefully picking up my traveling companion. Uh, I'm already stopping once, so might as well. well. The weather's not too bad. Let's see here. Elder Gleam is here somewhere. Get back here. Um, somewhere in here. This way, then. Hungry. Hungry, eh, character? <laughs> well, I suppose it wouldn't be too much of a problem if we stopped for a uh, snack here. Oh, well, let's see. Let's have a nice warm bowl of soup. Slightly drowned, drenched in blood, Dan. Hmm. Wonder where that's from. I know what mod, that's from the Enhanced Blood mod, but, uh. I need a drink. Alright. Fair enough. Let's just have some, uh. spring water then. Of you. Of you. Uh, where did that blood come from? I'd, I'd have to assume that's Skeever then. Or, yeah, I don't know. Wolf. Yeah. Here we are. Back into the cave with the deafening waterfalls. Seriously, that is loud. It makes sense, but it is really loud. Alright. 
hurt your way. Okay, I'm back. Yes? So if you do know, your friend wanted to give me, wanted me to give you a book, so here you go. Oh, that is wonderful. I have been asking around for this book everywhere. Do you say Helena found it at the Hogs Crew in No, no I did I've not. I've always heard that it's a very good store, and I believe that the room is right. Okay. And now, you better go and talk to your friend. I think she has some I've only known her for about a day, so... But... Goodbye. Hi. Oh, hi, Lord. And you talked to Nessia, right? Yep. Good. I could barely hear you over that waterfall. So I believe you had a chat with her, too. What was it about? Anessia and I also had a good talk while you were away. And you know what? She will help me with the bottle. Okay. But she needs some ingredients. Ah! To don't push me. The store that is hidden in that bottle. And she needs our help to collect those ingredients. Did you say... us? Oh... Oops. I'm sorry. I meant that I have to gather ingredients for her, of course. But, uh, If you would like to help me... I suppose I well, could. that would, of course, be incredibly kind. I suppose we, I can help, or help, I mean, just picking a few flowers, that seems simple enough. So you will come in with them? Sure. Oh, how sweet of you. I have a ways you to know, go, still. I have so much in your traveling here to with you. Yeah. I'm so glad that we continue to travel together any longer. Yeah, me too. There is one thing, though. Okay. What is it? As you are helping me, I, of course, want to help you, too. I understand that, of course, also you have many important things to do. Yeah! Yeah. If I can be of any use for you, I'd be happy to help out. I just want you to know that. Okay. Fair so, enough. if you just type it on, I look for the ingredients in your eye. Of course, it would be great if you collect some of them. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Actually, Anesia and I made a okay. list of the ingredients. Maybe you could carry this list of the ingredients. It would be incredibly nice if you also carried the ingredients on the list until you have collected all of that. That would make things easier for me. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Now let's yes. get out of this horribly, horribly loud place before I go deaf. I don't know how you can stand there. 